It's Razor Popla. You may not know this girl band yet, but looking at the way they're bumping and grinding, maybe it's time you do. Meet Galicious. Created by Robin Anton, the woman behind the famous Pussycat Dolls. You could say Galicious is the younger version of the Pussycat Dolls. The three girls, Nicole, Natalie, Christina, were discovered on reality singing show The Pussycat Dolls Presents Girlicious, where they emerged the winners. Razor TV caught up with them when they were in Singapore over the F1 weekend to perform at the launch of Glitteratine, a fashion show for teenagers. With 21 years old being the average age of the group, one wonders if the girls and their raunchy dance moves are sending off the wrong ideas to their young fans, and if sexy was just an image they were selling. I think sexy yes. comes from within, for sure. It does. You, you know, can't really fake it. You can't. You have it or you don't. You know, but everybody, I think every woman has the possibility to be sexy, for mm-hmm. sure. You know, it's just you got to find it yourself, inside of yeah. yourself, yeah. and exude that. It's so true. Sexy. It's confidence also. I introduced you guys as a really sexy girl group. Uh, are you guys tired of being called that? No. Yeah. No, I don't think it's tired of being sexy. sexy. <laughs> yeah. It's part of being a girl, I think, you know. Being yeah. a really young woman. Because I, I saw an interview and you guys are like sort of promoting girl power and stuff like that. Okay. And I know it's Definitely like that too. Spice Girls did the whole girl power, so you guys are bringing it back? Yeah. Something like that? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Men around the world thanked Britney Spears for bringing the naughty schoolgirl uniform to television screens back in 1998. And the girl from Galicious brought it back once again with their first single, Stupid Shit. We wondered if their parents thought any less of them for it. No. Our parents support us. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever we do. For sure. No, because but... Because from a TV show, yeah. you know, right. um, a lot of people got to know us individually, you know. So it wasn't really... Uh, a, they got to know us as people, you know. It wasn't just about our image. Yep. So. And I would say that more of those music videos, you know, there's always like a music video or song that you have that's kind of risque, and that was like one of our risque songs, and like, you know, we it really put it. It was really fun. We Honestly, it was like one big ball and video of fun. <laughs> that's what it was. So what do they have to say to all the people who think that all Galicious are doing is selling sex? I think in any situation, you're going to have your fans, and you're going to have the people who, you know, disagree with things. I think that's for everybody. You can't please everyone. You can't please yeah. everyone. So yeah. uh, we had a great time doing it. And, you know, at the end of the day, people know we're very good girls. We have good morals and arts. They know us, our personalities. So it's all good. If the group are advocating girl power, then does it mean they have to be bad girls to project power? No. Bad girls. Yeah, like so bad, girl. bad girls sometimes, though. Yeah. When is it a sometimes. good time to be a, a bad girl? When the, the appropriate time calls for it. <laughs> uh, when is that? I know, um, when is that? When defending you know, yourself, you want to. standing up for yourself, you know, being an individual, going against the grain, not following the crowd. Okay. You know, okay, one to ten, rate yourself uh, how bad you guys can get. I know, it's, it's <laughs> what do you mean, though? What yeah, is the definition of being a bad girl, though? Um, what, is de- what is your definition? Okay, if I was a bad boy... Uh, <laughs> like you would if, need a time out. Yeah, I would need a time out, right? Like, I'd just be rude to all these girls and be like, you're going to be smiling, like, whatever, you know, like, collisions. Yeah, whatever, you know, like, yeah. that's a bad boy, right? No. Yeah. So do you guys, like, just blow guys off and, like... No. Uh, Not unless they're rude. Yeah, yeah that's okay. true. So one wonders if the girls have had bad experiences with guys who are trying to pick them up. You know, there's a few guys like, hey, you're hot, whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's like the worst pick pickup up. line? Yeah. Sorry? We don't let anybody pick us up. Yeah, but what's the worst <laughs> pickup line you've ever heard? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, come on, yeah, you got it. We know some. What is it? I, um, I don't know. I know I, one. Um, I'm sorry, I think you were there when I told you this. Um, for some reason, guys think it's funny or cool or whatever to tell me that I look like their first girlfriend, like in preschool. <gasps> oh, yeah. They always tell me that, that, like, the first girlfriend I ever had when I was four in preschool, you look just like her. And I'm like, is that, like, a pickup line? Because I've heard that so many times. Right? And on certain levels, it's wrong because yeah. these guys are pedophiles, man. Yeah. yeah. Right? Do you remember? You, you look my four? first girlfriend when I was four. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's weird. kind of weird. It's like yeah. the worst one. Well, now all you guys know what not to say if you ever bump into the girl that's just girls. But the big question is, are they single? Attached, no? Single? Single around? Single. <laughs> you don't want to miss the second part of Razor TV's interview with Galicious as the sexy trio tells us what kind of guys they like. Yes, I said it. Oh, yes, I said it. He is pushing some love. <laughs> I know.